Okay, so for this mobility warm up, we're going to start nice and easy on all fours, hands directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips, and just a simple cat cow, just mobilizing the spine, moving back and forth between the biggest stretch. You can go one way, arching your back as far as you can, sticking your bum out, and rounding your back as far as you can the other way and feeling a stretch all the way down the spine. Great way to get your spine warm. Okay, from here, we're gonna sit back on our heels, and we're gonna warm up the spine in a different way. So hands behind, one hand behind your head. Notice that my other hand stayed in the exact same position. And here we're doing a T-spine twist, okay? So keeping your bum sitting on those heels, you're tucking your elbow under the opposite arm and then opening up as far as you can the other way. This is called spinal rotation. So we're going through a rotation movement. Okay, put the first hand down exactly in line with where the other hand was because this is a good distance to be. And again, tucking your elbow under the opposite arm and then twisting around as far as you can, trying to get your elbow up towards the ceiling. It's fine if you can move through much less of a range of motion in the beginning, this will get better. Okay, so from, on, from here, back onto all fours, we're gonna go into a downward facing dog. Okay, so this is from yoga. What you wanna make sure you're doing here is keeping your heels off the floor and really pushing your chest towards your knees. Bend your knees a bit if you, if you need to. The idea isn't to stretch your hamstrings, it's to stretch your shoulders out. So from here, get into a high plank, make sure you're pushing the floor away, don't sink down. And then hips on the floor and lifting your chest up and arching your back the other way, stretching the front of the body, it's called an upward dog. And we're going to go back into a downward facing dog, really pushing that chest towards the knees. Keep your heels off the floor if you need to. Back into that plank position. Everything's nice and high. And then just putting the hips on the floor, lifting your chest up and stretching out the front of that body. Okay, then we're just going to go back and forth from the downward dog to the upward dog. If you are used to doing yoga, you don't have to do this like chaturanga, like lowering yourself down. Just drop your hips and keep your arms straight and stretching out the front of the body. So back into the downward dog, just gonna do 10 of these, great way to warm up the shoulders, pedal out the knees if you need to, the feet if you need to, and then back into the upward facing dog. And you just go backwards and forwards like this. Warms up the shoulders, warms up the hamstring, warms up the spine. You can bend your knees if you want to get an extra stretch on the front of the legs. And just go back and forward at your own pace. Okay, so from here, we're gonna come into a seated position and do some, what I call hip twizzles. I don't actually know what they're called. So you're trying to keep your bum down on the floor here. So don't lift your bum cheek up. And then you're rolling your hips in so that your knee just touches the floor or as close as you can get and just starting to warm the hips up. And from here, we're gonna come into a deep squat position. So this might be hard for some of you, we're just gonna get into this deep squat position, bounce around here a little bit, notice how my feet are flat on the ground, my knees are going over my toes, my elbows are inside my knees. From here, we're gonna stick our bum up in the air and stretch out the back of our legs. So you might be able to touch the floor, you might be much, much further away from the floor, but you wanna lock out your knees. And then you go back into that deep squat. So this back and forth between a forward bend and a deep squat, I call it a baby squat because this is how babies get up off the floor. Into that deep squat, bounce around a bit, and then go all the way into a forward band, bend, locking out your knees, letting your head go heavy, really stretching out your back and the backs of your legs. See if you can go an extra millimeter each time. But again, if you're not touching the floor, no problem. Just hang where, heavy where you are, and bit by bit, you'll get closer and closer to the floor. So you're just going back and forth between those two movements. Okay, so from here, we're gonna lie down on our back. We'll finish the mobility part. We're just gonna warm up our glutes. So we're gonna do 10 glute bridges. Make sure your feet are about the same distance apart that they were in the deep squat. Don't have them too far away or too close and don't have them too close to each other. You want about a shoulder width apart distance and 90 degrees on your knees as you squeeze your bum up and that'll get your glutes nice and warm. 
From here, we're gonna get up and go into a squat. So finding that same depth in the squat, that same deep squat position that you did before. And whatever's comfortable for you here and your feet here, this is where we're gonna do a squat. So reaching your bum back and down, let your knees track forward over your toes. Bum down below your knees if you can. Heels flat on the floor, weight in, in the heels of your feet. We'll do 10 of these. And that's it, you're ready to start your workout.